when we went out and, and we were getting uh, the cards, I started getting a lot of cards that said for address, Hotel Limon. And I asked uh, the other organizers who were from Oxford, I said, where the heck is this Hotel Limon? Seems like there's a heck of a lot of people that live there. They said, no, no, no. They live, live in the fields and they live under the lemon trees. That's why they call it Hotel Limon, because yeah. they were undocumented. They had no, no, no place to, uh, to live except that, and that's why they gave the address. And uh, the interesting p uh, part is that in all of that, we found out a, what a huge number of people were undocumented. Correct. And there was one company, you know, that was called, uh, there was uh, West Foods, which was a mushroom plant, had about 230 workers. And uh, when we asked where all these workers, because they, uh, even though we had access under the farm worker law, uh, you, the, when you did it inside the job site, the managers always were close by and people were nervous about talking. So we'd spent a lot of time going to people's homes. And whenever we talked to somebody saying, do you know who else do you need? Do you know where they live? And a couple of times we were told, well, see out there that river bottom that's overgrown with weeds there's people that live out there as well so one of the organizers and i went out one day when they weren't working i think it was a sunday and we went out to where the river bank and we started looking to see where there was a trail and we start sure enough we found a little trail that you could tell trampled weeds that you know it, that people were in. and so we started following it and every once in a while we'd stop and listen and then we would keep on going. And after a while, we started hearing music. So we kept on going. And then we finally, we came to a place where uh, people, uh, uh, there were like four workers. That, what they had taken is, is some of the, the, the shrubbery from and that, and they put a tarp over it and made like a little living area for themselves there. And we came up to them and said, hi, ah, introduced ourselves. We're from the union. Oh, come on in. And they invited us inside their little area where, where they live. And they all signed uh, union cards and they were all ready to, uh, uh, to go. And, and people had no fear. People had no fear. And I was like, why? Well, you know, they, first of all, they said, you know, poverty that we face where we were. It's worse than what we're encountering here. So if it means uh, that we have to take on these companies in order to be able to get what we need to support our family, we're down, we're ready for it. And as, and, as, and then I had been familiar in the past because when people try to organize, the grower would call the border patrol. And, so, and I said, aren't you guys afraid? If, if they uh, deport us, we'll be back tomorrow. And what happened is true enough. Uh, we had one incident where people were arrested and deported. And they were back the next day because they dropped them off in Tijuana. Tijuana. And they came right back. And so it, it was pretty amazing. Then we had it, uh, another incident where uh, in with this egg city because everybody that was out on the picket line was undocumented. So we came up with a strategy. So if the employer calls the border, the, the migra, and they show up. Here's, here's the plan. All of you that have papers, go on up and greet them and, and start engaging them in conversation. Those of you that don't, phew, disappear. And it worked like a charm because by the time they got through talking with everybody that, that, that uh, had documents, everybody else was gone. And people from that, what they got, we have power. We have power. And they felt it when they see that they took this employer, I mean, the, 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 the feared migra, and fooled them by organizing and taking steps, you know, to protect each other. And that was a turning point for many people because they saw, first of all, that the union was about protecting them and secondly, that if they acted as a group, they could protect each other.